Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a ship with me video. However, I am bringing you guys to the basement right now. I am going to do some cleaning down here. And let me turn the camera around. I'm going to be moving some of these bins here and putting my shipping table, which is here under the steps currently, right there so that I can do better ship with me videos because my last ship with me video, you couldn't even see the table and my full face. So hopefully I will be able to film from like this-ish angle. I know it's kind of loud because this thing is right here, <laughs> but we're doing what we can. So that's the plan for today. So let's get this stuff moved. Okay, so this is the before. You know, A all the way through, all the way around through here to O. So I th I'm not sure if I'm just going to shift some of the alphabet or if I'm gonna move the entire set all the way down. And I'm still not sure if the bins I'm moving to put my table are going to go here and I'm going to move that stuff or if they're going to go over there where all those boxes are and all these boxes are going to come here under the steps. Um, the only problem over there is there's no light like there's no light bulb past this one so it's like dark over here dark and scary corner over here so I cannot like really put things too far into there but I obviously can put them right here where you can still see. So that is my two choices, and we are gonna get moving. <laughs> so I'm testing out camera angles just to make sure I can see my full face and where about the table would be because that's the whole point of me moving all this stuff. And I think right here actually might be better. Like if I turn this light off, you can really see me, which is good because right behind the camera right now is a window. So I get lots of natural light coming in. So I could just film my videos like this and turn this light off and maybe even like scoot the light down, you know, so it wouldn't be in the frame. And then put my table here and then just move the end of the alphabet to that corner I was telling you about. I think that is what I'm going to do instead of cutting right in the middle of my bins um yeah so we're gonna do that instead i'm so glad i took a look at the camera angles first because this one by far is the one i like the best and like i said i think the table should be about here so you guys could even come closer like the camera could even be moved closer to me and you'll still be able to see what i'm doing and what i'm talking about so i think that's what we're going to do so i am going to set up a time lapse i think and if that works out, then I'll put that footage in. So let's get to it, guys. <laughs> done i am really liking the new setup so far i hope it flows well when i actually go to list things but there's what my new shipping station looks like i put boxes that i use obviously that's a trash can there's my shipping boxes the shipping the poly mailers that i mostly use for almost all of my sales and then i have the regular poly mailers right there on the ground i have some more shipping supplies and yes those are walmart like 
paper bags. My mother-in-law gets Walmart deliveries and gives me the paper bags and I use them as poly mailers. They work just fine and no one's complained about it. So I'm all about reusing things. Here is the start of the inventory. Like I said before, this is where I was going to do it. I'm so glad I didn't do that. So we got all the letters now. They continue over here. And then in this corner is where the rolling rack was that I had the coats and the dresses on. So those are the bins that came from the corner where my shipping table is now. They unfortunately all didn't fit right here. So I did have to put two, just the O's right here on this little corner, but under the stairs now are the shoes, which are here, handbags, which are here, and then just random shipping boxes. And then where the boxes used to be is now the rolling rack, the quilts, and this is just dust bags. That's some random hard goods that I have listed. Actually, this sold, so let's go ahead and get that out. Which one? This one. This sign sold, so we're gonna have to pack that up today. So let's pack some sales. Okay, so we're gonna pack the sales now. I have my labels. I'm just gonna grab a Hulkin and I'm gonna leave you guys there while I go pull everything and then we will come back and chat about the things that sold as they pack. you can see things better hopefully it's just better all around so as I am going through what has sold I will put a picture of it here on the screen so you can see it and I'm going to mention what platform it sold on how much it sold for and how much I'll make after the fees come out from each platform this is going to be Saturday and Sunday sales today is Monday morning and we are going to get these out the door today uh, so first, like I already showed you guys, this sign sold vintage metal and porcelain train sign. It sold for 32 and I'll make 23 and that sold on Poshmark. And I'm actually going to put it in a medium flat rate box if it will fit. Yes, it will. And these signs, I, I have several of these train signs and... I wasn't sure if I should have picked them up when I got them at the bins and Jack happened to be with me when I was looking at them and he thought that they were a good pickup. I paid $8 total I think for six or seven of these different signs. Each one of them has a different rail line on it and this one paid for them all so that's great. It was a good pickup. Put a few more packaging supplies in there just kind of keep it moving around. And if I didn't already say, this sold for 32 and I'll make 23. And I'm not throwing them on the floor. My Hulk and bag is right there, so I'm putting them in the Hulk. Bin. Next is this set of J Valentine. This is a vintage, like, cosplay furries set, I guess. It is a hat with the matching either gloves or leg warmers I guess whatever one you want them to be this sold on eBay it sold for $50 and I will make 46 and this is going to go in oh gosh and that's not gonna fit in there so I'll have to print a new label out for that one because it's gonna have to go in a medium flat rate box and I only have a label for a padded flat rate so I will have to fix that
and I just put the wrong label on. So we're gonna have to peel that off or at least scribble over it so I remember. Because like I said, this is not the right label. New label. And we'll put that one to the side so I don't forget. Okay, because I forgot two seconds later. This is another eBay sale. I feel like we're coming into like an era where I'm going to be an eBay girly over a Poshmark girly and I never thought that would happen again. Like I started my resign career on eBay. Obviously Poshmark wasn't that big of a platform when I first started reselling. And I just remembered I've been forgetting my thank you cards that I put right here, conveniently right next to me. So we're gonna put one of those on this one before I seal it up. Put the sticker. Okay. <laughs> so like I was saying, um, I started my reselling career on eBay and Poshmark wasn't that big of a platform. I had, you know, the usual problems that you have on eBay and it made me so angry. And then eventually eBay took away their customer service phone number. So you couldn't even call and talk to somebody on eBay if you had a problem. So I vowed I would never sell on eBay again. And I took everything off of eBay and I switched everything to Poshmark. And I was living my best Poshmark life for a few years now. And now I just feel like Poshmark is pushing live selling so much. It's so hard to make a sale on Poshmark. Like, I will list things and they won't get any attention at all. And I'll list it on eBay and they'll have watchers within a few hours, within the same day. So, I think we are coming into an era where I am going to be more heavily focused on eBay over Poshmark because I refuse to sell live on Poshmark and still give Poshmark 20%. Anyways, next sale is this military liner jacket. This is one that was in one of my hauls recently, and it sold for $22, and I will make $17, and that was a Poshmark sale. To be honest, last week, if it wasn't for some of you guys who purchased stuff for me from seeing it from my haul videos... Poshmark sales would have been dismal for me last week. They just would have been like almost non-existent. And I don't really know how that's possible when I put so much effort into Poshmark. So like I said, it might be time for that eBay era to come back around. Next is a marmot vest. It's sold on Poshmark. It's sold for 20 and I will make 16. And again, I'm forgetting my thank you my thank you cards. Jeez Louise. I'm terrible about that. Maybe I should move them to like right here so I can just see them. <laughs> okay. That one got one. Next sale is a pair of Reformation jeans. Reformation, especially their jeans was something I used to be extremely excited to find. And I honestly thought this pair was gonna do a lot better than this. This is the Reformation Keeley Carpenter Jean in size 29. They only sold for 25 and I'll make 20. Again, I forgot my thank you sticker. Gosh darn it. Apparently I can't multitask today. <laughs> but that was a Poshmark sale if I didn't say that. Next are these Monday swimwear pants. These were also in one of my previous hauls. I believe I got these at a regular thrift store and I think I might have paid $12 for them. They sold for $30 and I'll make $24. So that's not like great of a, of a flip and maybe I would have left them behind the next time. I just thought they were going to do a little bit better than that. And this was also a Poshmark sale if I didn't say that already. Oh, my back hurts. My back hurts really bad today. Like, I don't know, I must have, like, moved wrong or, you know, did something wrong yesterday. And all of a sudden, it was like I couldn't bend over. I couldn't, like, bend certain ways. It was like I was stuck. And so that's why I decided not to go to the bins today. And then I come down here and rearrange my whole workspace. So that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but that's okay. 
Next is this REI puffer jacket. This is a Poshmark sale and it sold for 41 and I will make 32. Thank you card because I'm going to remember on this one. And for those of you who are new, my thank you cards, they're literally from Amazon. They say thank you for supporting my small business, just a very generic little thing. And then I stamped the back, let me show you. So thank you, oh, there we go. Thank you for supporting my small business. And then the back I just stamped with my little logo stamp. And then I attach it to the package with a little sticker. So that's what I've been forgetting on half of these, but I like to do that for everyone. And the stamp that I use is actually from Vistaprint. I made it myself and it was really easy to make. And I don't believe it was very much money. Like I want to say it was under $30. But I don't think I would have spent that much on it. So let me show you that actually. So it's just a little wooden block stamp. And then obviously it has a stamp, but it's just my logo. I don't know if you can my older logo at that because it says Instagram on there. But yeah, I, I think this adds a nice little touch and it didn't cost too terribly much and I get to reuse it over and over and over again. Next we have, oh, these are the Victoria's Secret bras from my last haul, this haul. If you haven't watched it already, you should. Um, they, I, I, like I said in the video, I lotted them up. He sold to the very first person that liked them. I kind of thought was going to happen. I thought they were going to sell pretty fast because typically people know their bra size and typically people know what bras they like. So if you liked this style of bra and this was your size, you can't lose. Like I, I sold these for how much? Let's see. We sold for 33 and I'll make 24. So you're spending 20 or you're spending $33 plus shipping on three bras. Like you really can't beat that. Also, they, this person bought this item five minutes after they liked it because Prime Lister sent them an offer for me of 30% off with discounted shipping. And like I said, they accepted it. So love that. And if you never checked out Prime Lister or don't know what I'm talking about, um, the first link in the description down below will be a link for Prime Lister. And that link will give you two weeks free and you don't need to put your credit card in. So you can give it a try and figure out if you like it before committing to buy it. Okay. Oh, Jansport. This is a vintage Jansport Air Force Academy crew neck sweatshirt. It sold, I believe, on Poshmark. Yes, it sold on Poshmark for $27 and I will make $19. I changed up some of the automations I had Prime Lister doing for me. I think prior to me changing it this weekend, Prime Lister was sending out offers of 20% with discounted shipping 10 minutes after an offer or 10 minutes after someone had liked it and I changed it to 30% with discounted shipping five minutes after someone likes an item. Also, I had Prime Lister relisting things that were 80 days old or older I changed that to 140 days, giving my items a little bit longer listed on the platform. So we'll see how that does. See at the end of this month if that, if I think that has made any significant changes. Okay, two more. I cannot reach them, so I have to come around and get them. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot a thank you sticker in that, or I forgot my thank you. Okay, we're just going to pop the thank you card on both of these because I forgot them in the last one. So, thank you card on that one. Maybe I should do that first from now on. Okay. So, first... First, we have these Athleta pants. They are a vintage pair of Athleta pants. They're a very old label, but they're like a thicker material. Uh, they sold for 21 and I will make 13. And last, we sold this vintage Abercrombie t-shirt. This was also a Poshmark sale. It sold for $9 and I'll make seven. While that is a very low sale price, I've had this t-shirt forever and I got it at the bin, so I am very happy to see it go. So that's it for this 
this video, you guys. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching with me. If this angle was a little bit better, please let me know. Maybe I should bring the camera a little closer next time. I just wanted the whole table to be, like, in the frame. So let me know your thoughts on that. Should I bring it closer? Maybe angle it, like, down, you know, so you really don't see me, but you see the table. I don't know. What, what do you guys care about when you watch shipping videos? Like, are you really focused on how I'm packing the things? Are you just kind of, you know, watching to see what things are selling currently? I don't, I don't know. Why do you guys watch Ship With Me videos? What is the important part of a Ship With Me video to you? Hi friends, so we are just leaving the post office and I did have a chance to briefly just look at a few of the, the clips that I had made for this video and the very last clip where I'm actually at the shipping station the clip you just saw where I'm packing things I think next time I will maybe put my umbrella light downstairs so that there's more light because it still was a little bit dark it was bright ish but like not as bright as I would like it to be so I will try to fix the lighting a little bit next time and I think maybe I will bring the camera a tiny bit closer to me next time as well um, like I said we are working it out we are figuring it out trying to figure out a new shipping station that's better for filming but also still works for me <laughs> um so if you took the time to watch this video i so appreciate it and if you wouldn't mind just hitting like on the way out that would be awesome see you next time friends bye